Hello everyone! Fall has arrived in Ohio! As you can see with all of these beautiful fall colored leaves, orange, red, and with that in Ohio comes huge squash and pumpkins. Phil was able to find, I don't know if you can see how big this is, but it's huge and it's heavy. This is a 30 pound squash. So the skunks and the porcupines eat squash. Where are you going, Mar? You coming here? Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on, come here. He found my little treat bag. So if you have skunks or pets, you're probably gonna have a little food bag. That is what Marvy has found. But Marvy, do you see this? This is food that you are on. You don't have to put your head in the food bag because you are on your food. So I wanted to see if the animals would do something with this 30 pound squash. I'm not sure if they completely know that this is food. Marvy, what do you think, buddy? Look, look. So he will eat squash, acorn squash on a regular basis. So I assumed he would try to eat this. Marvy, what do you think? Are you gonna try to eat it? No, you just want this one that has other food, huh? Let's move this over here. Marvy, look! Look! What do you think? What do you think of the squash? Uh-oh, Ducky's coming in to investigate as well. Hi, Duck! Hi, Duck! Hi, Duck! You can't see Duck, but Duck is right behind the camera. We'll see if there, Duck just tapped the camera. Come on, Ducky! Come on, Ducky! Hi, Duck! Come on! Here, Doc, do you want to try some squash? Here, we'll cut a little piece. Don't eat the knife, honey. The knife does not have it on. There you go, that's food. Hi, Ducky, come here, here. So I'm gonna cut a little piece out to see if Marvy will eat it. Marvy, Marvy, <laughs> come here, buddy. Look. Look, now he smells it. Come here, buddy. Come here, look. Come here. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I had his leash. There. So I got it started for him. He's starting to eat this 30 pound squash. You can see it is way bigger than Marv is right now. We'll see if he decides to go back and eat it. There. Now he can smell it. <laughs> Look at that tongue. Hi, Duck. Do you smell some too? Woo! So skunks will do that a lot, Marvie. <laughs> Not good at balance, huh, buddy? So skunks will do that, well they'll use their claws, this is why it's important for them to have long claws, but they still have to be trimmed so that they are of appropriate length, they don't get too big, but they will just use their claws to be able to help them get their food and eat. That's so good, Mark. You can see the hole he's digging in here. All I had to do is open it a little bit so he could smell it. And now, Marv is excited for fall. Hey, buddy. Can you go for some more? Would you like a piece of squash duck? There you go. Good 
Good duck. There you go. Everybody gets to enjoy the big, huge squash. You ate that really fast. Why are we starting another hole? Let's get another piece for duck. Duck really like that. Hey, duck. Hey, duck. There you go. Touch. Come on, you can do it. That's a boy. You can do it. Touch. Yes. That's a boy. Good, Kilo. Yes, Kim. Come here. Touch. What is that? What is that? Can you eat it? That looks delicious, huh? Go ahead. Have a big bite. Is that so delicious, Kibo? <gasps> Did you find the world's biggest squash? You gonna find a new bite? That's spectacular. Look, Kibo, that squash is as big as you. Bigger, actually. So we found a 30 <laughs> pound squash at the market. And I thought the porcupines might be nervous around it and might try to stick their quills up and be nervous about it, but it looks like Kibo is pretty fond of it. So I fed the porcupines acorn squash before and they really like that. So we found this and thought we'd see how they react to it. And Kibo seems to enjoy it as well. Uh oh. <laughs> but he enjoys the potato I stashed in there a little bit more. <laughs> touch. Come on, Wednesday. Come on, you can do it. Touch. Good girl. Come on, Wednesday. Good girl. You see your ball? Good girl. You can do it. What is that? Hi, Kibo. Hi, honey. Good, Wednesday. Do you see that huge squash? Yes! I love that you are trying to eat it and you're not nervous by it. You guys can go to town on this. Thank you. Good wins. Good girl. It's okay, wins. Good girl. Thank you. Good girl, Wentz. What do you think of it, Wentz? Is it so good? Is it so delicious? Try it some more. <gasps> That's a girl. Good. Thank you. So you can see the porcupine's big claws, big teeth, just like Marv. It allows them to be able to at what they need to be able to eat and they again this is another type of enrichment activity so show them something new and exciting that they have to figure out so this is a huge squash and they are realizing that they can eat it they don't have to be scared of it That's so precious. I guess if you get a big enough squash, they don't have to fight over the same food. <laughs> Not that you guys would ever fight, would you? 
they actually do pretty well. They hardly ever fight over their food, but every once in a while, they do. Here, Kim. Up here. That's a boy. Good boy. Here, Wendy. Oh, there you go, Kim. Here you go. Here, Wendy. Can you balance? Good girl. Oh, no. That squash started to move on you. Here, Kim. Good, Wendy. Balance. Good. Here, Kim. Right here. Up. Up. Yes. All right, Wendy, I'll hold it for you. Come here. Here, Wendy. Up. Up here. Up. Yes. All right, keep up. Up. Yes. That's a boy. You can always use the squash as a food source as well as the bounce bean. All right, guys. Let's cut a little bit of our squash. Oops. Here. No, you can't eat the knife, you silly. You cannot eat the knife, you silly. Kibo's trying to eat the knife. You can't eat it. Okay, here, let me get a little bit. You can't eat the knife. That's not food. That's not food. Here. Maybe I'll cut some from the end instead. Yeah. You, you're trying to play target? He's probably trying to target. He's used to targeting stuff. All right, let me find you something. <laughs> Come here. Come here. Can you balance up on it? Up. Yes. That's a girl. That's a girl. Girl. How's that squash? Do you like it? It's not a potato, is it? Ready? You need a balance? Very good. Oh, we dropped it. You didn't even get your reward. There you go. Here. Would you like this squash? That's a boy. That's a boy. So it turns out the squash is a good food source. They like to chew on it. But if they have potatoes, they are going to take potatoes every time. So perhaps the squash is a really good balance beam in between when they still have potatoes. And then when the potatoes run out, they will continue to eat this downstairs. But it should feed them for a little while. All right, Keith, can you come this way? Come this way. Show everybody you can come around. Come on. Go over it. Yes. Good. That's a boy. All right, Keith, spin this way. And up, right here. Up, up here. Up. All right. Well, I think we've had some fun with Marv and the porcupines and this giant 30 pound squash. So Kiwa's gonna show us how much he can balance and enjoy the squash in multiple ways. But I am Rachel, this is Kibo, and we are Adventurous Heart. And find new creative ways to be able to engage and have fun with your pets. As for me, I'm learning squash is good, potatoes are better, and if you're doing any training, you better stick with potatoes. All right, Key, one more up. Yeah, oh, that was good balance, nice, good job. Oh boy, you can see his belly rub, he's good with me. Uh, so he's actually leaned his belly to, uh, away from me so that I can give him a nice big belly rub. If I move my hand, he'll go back to center. If I rub it, he'll kind of move away, which means he is enjoying it. All right, Keeb, last time, up, good. 